Home Fires, a science fiction novel by Gene Wolfe, explores the impact of war on society and individuals thrust into the front lines. The story revolves around two main characters, Shell and Skip, who fall in love and marry shortly after college. However, their blissful married life is disrupted when Shell is enlisted in the military and sent to fight aliens in a distant solar system. Many years pass before they are finally reunited. Upon Shell's return, they find that Earth has undergone significant changes. The world they once knew has transformed into a place where natural resources have been depleted, forcing people to rely on manual labor and harnessing elemental forces like water and wind. In an attempt to secure a new home for the dwindling human population, Earth has dispatched ships to explore space and search for habitable planets. However, they soon discover that they are not alone in this endeavor. The OS, a highly intelligent alien species, share the same objective of finding suitable planets. This competition for territory has ignited intergalactic conflicts, with soldiers from Earth frequently deployed to fight in distant galaxies for a stake in unoccupied planets. Against this backdrop, Shell and Skip navigate their lives in a future where resources are scarce, and the specter of war looms large. Their story begins during their time in college, where they meet and quickly develop a deep connection. Shell's decision to join the military to fund her education leads to her departure soon after their wedding. However, due to time dilation, what feels like a short period for Shell equates to nearly a decade passing on Earth before her return. This time apart shapes their experiences and perspectives in a world grappling with limited resources and constant warfare. Throughout Home Fires, Gene Wolfe examines the struggles and challenges faced by Shell and Skip, highlighting the human condition within a futuristic and war-torn setting. Upon Shell's long-awaited return, it becomes apparent that time has treated her differently than Skip. While she has barely aged, Skip has flourished in his life on Earth, establishing a successful career as a middle-aged lawyer running his own firm. Despite the years of separation and the disparities in their experiences, their love for each other remains strong. To celebrate their reunion, they embark on a romantic Caribbean cruise, hoping to rekindle their connection. However, the idyllic cruise quickly reveals the profound challenges that have arisen during Shell's time in battle. Her body bears the scars of her encounters with the OS, exhibiting severe damage, and there are concerns about potential brain injuries as well. Physical abnormalities, such as mismatched hand sizes, become apparent, and Skip notices her unusually quick willingness to engage in sexual encounters with anyone who shows even the slightest interest. While Skip himself had engaged in a long-term affair with his secretary during Shell's absence, he becomes worried when Shell leaves him a cryptic note, hinting at the possibility of assuming a false identity. As their cruise progresses, their troubles intensify. The couple finds themselves targeted by pirates, taken hostage, and thrust into a treacherous world of espionage and conspiracy. Sinister cyborgs and murderers emerge, all determined to thwart their joyful reunion just as it begins. In the face of these dangers, Shell and Skip must navigate a complex web of spy networks and fight for their survival. Gene Wolfe, the author of Home Fires, was a notable figure in the realms of science fiction and fantasy. With a background that included being drafted into the Korean War and pursuing a career in engineering, he eventually retired to dedicate himself to writing full-time. Wolf gained recognition for his extensive works in science fiction and fantasy, most notably The Book of the New Sun series and The Wizard Knight. Although he received numerous nominations for prestigious awards such as the Hugo, he never secured a win. Nevertheless, he earned accolades such as Nebula and Locus Awards, as well as a Lifetime Achievement Award for his contributions to the genres. In 2019, Wolf passed away in a suburb of Chicago, leaving behind a legacy of imaginative storytelling. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.